property market's on a high. In fact, I haven't seen this level of confidence and excitement since 2007. The Commonwealth Games are exactly one year away, and the building infrastructure work together with the employment that it generated has truly benefited the Gold Coast property market. The light rail will connect to the heavy rail at Helens Vale in time for the Commonwealth Games, and there's planning underway now for, it, for the light rail to extend down as far as Gold Coast Airport, even a spur line out to SeaWorld on the spit, taking in the new proposed integrated resort and cruise ship terminal. Pacific Fair's been revamped and the casino's currently being expanded and refurbished. The Jewel Six Star Hotel development is well underway and there's a big pipeline of approved developments many yet to commence. Although on a note of caution, some property commentators are concerned about a possible oversupply of units along the eastern seaboard of Australia into the future. Tourism's on a high and the Gold Coast certainly dodged a bullet with the Cyclone Debbie after effects, with no major damage or flooding to speak of, which is really good news for the school holiday period. Well-priced properties are getting snapped up fast and there's been really good price growth right across the city, but in particular close to the new infrastructure and proposed light rail routes. So if you're thinking of buying or selling, now is a great time. The publicity surrounding the Commonwealth Games has really put the focus on the fantastic lifestyle and tremendous value that our properties represent here compared to the Sydney and Melbourne markets. And those looking for a slice of the action are getting in right now. I'm Janet Houlihan from Houlihan Realty. Thanks for watching.